Hello all, welcome back to another video. This will be an exciting video today, demonstrating Donut, a shellcode generator and also how to use Donut to generate a shellcode from Quasar. Quasar is a RAT RAT tool that is very famous and popular. It is often used for remote administration for Windows systems. To save time on this demonstration, we will create an exclusion on Windows Defender. If you are interested in Windows Defender bypasses videos, please check out my other videos in the channel. Being able to generate a shellcode is very useful as it provides you with the flexibility on how you can execute it. You can have a shellcode launcher program in an entirely different language and it will work fine as well. You can also host your generated shellcode remotely and have the launcher to fetch it. This will sort of hide your main payload which will be the Quasar Red shellcode. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's follow the instructions provided on the Donut GitHub repository and download the code. Google Chrome is blocking it. Let's use PowerShell wget instead. Ok, looks good. Let's extract the downloaded Donut code. Please make sure that you have Visual Studio installed. You can download Visual Studio for free on the official Microsoft web page. Once you have downloaded Visual Studio, you should be able to see this x64 native command prompt for VS Visual Studio. Fire it up and change your directory to the donut folder. Now, we should be able to follow the instructions given and run nmake on it. This looks good. Now we have the donut.exe binary. Awesome. With donut, we will be able to generate shellcode from an exe binary file. Let's head over to the Quasar Red GitHub repository and download the code. Interestingly enough, this is not blocked by Google Chrome. Weird, but okay. Before you extract, make sure to unblock the zip file first. Now let's fire up Visual Studio to compile the Quasar Red. This will be my first time launching Visual Studio as shown in the screen. You should be able to follow step by step without any issues. Open the project and browse to the Quasar solution file. Wait for the project to complete loading and change it from debug to release and then build the solution. This should succeed without any errors as shown in the screen. Let's browse to the output folder and take a look at the binaries produced. Quasar.exe is the red server. Let's execute it. For the first time, we will need to create a certificate. Click on create and then save. This should create a P12 cert as shown in the screen. Let's start listening and leave the port as default. Now let's head over to the builder and compile our Quasar Red client, which will be delivered to our victim users. Let's leave everything as it is and input the only required field, which is the callback IP address and port. Awesome, the build is successful and we can see the output client-build.exe is produced in the folder. Let's execute it and see if this works. After double clicking on it, we can see that on our Quasar Red server, there is a callback. This means that the client.exe binary is working fine. Now, let's copy the Quasar Red client binary to the donut folder. We will generate a shellcode for it. We will need to specify the input, which is our Quasar Red client.exe file. Let's specify the entropy to be 1 and the output file name to be loader.bin. Oh no, it should be donut.exe and not donut.exe. I must be drunk. Awesome, it worked. We now have the Quasar Red Client Payload as a shellcode format in the loader.bin file. This is awesome. Now, we should be able to execute the Quasar Red Client loader.bin file with any typical shellcode launcher code. Let's give this c -sharp one a try. Lab3 will provide the shellcode launcher code. 
this C sharp code should do the job. Let's create a new project and select C sharp console application. Let's copy and paste the code over. Awesome, it was able to compile successfully. Now let's modify it so that it will load our Quasar Red Client Loader.bin payload file instead. We can use the read all bytes function to do so like this. This should work. Let's recompile it again. Now we will need to make sure that the loader.bin file is in the same directory as the console app. Let's copy the compiled console app.exe file to our donut directory where the loader.bin is. Awesome. Now the console app and the loader.bin file is in the same directory, it is time to give it a shot. Let's make sure we can see the Quasar Red server on the same screen. Awesome, we got a callback successfully on our Quasar Red server. It was possible to convert the Quasar Red client.exe file into a shellcode and execute the shellcode to get a callback. This is great. As explained earlier, Having your payload as a shellcode is very powerful as it provides you the flexibility on how you want to execute it. All references used in this video will be provided in the video's description so be sure to check that out as well. I have recently created a free phishing course available on Udemy. This phishing course is completely free and it is only about 30 minutes long. Several phishing techniques and popular tools such as GoFish is demonstrated in the course. The link to the free course will be available in the video's description. I hope you all have found the video to be interesting and useful. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it. I will see you all soon in the next one. Bye.